Recently, I did a video in which I recounted that after 40 years as a monk that I feel like there's so much progress and spiritual growth that hasn't happened. And I feel frustrated. All of us have those moments of time where we feel like we're not making any spiritual progress. But we want to remember that our spiritual life is not about feelings. It's not about emotions. And the difficulty is that we live in a society that is full of emotions and feelings. And people feel so often that if they don't have something happening on the inside of a spiritual nature, that it means that there's nothing to it anyway. So they just walk away from it. But the church has everything we need when we go through periods of dryness like this. Using the Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner, is a good example. Because it's a prayer that is so deep that even if you're not feeling emotionally connected to God and you say the Jesus prayer, it's a prayer that goes to the heart of God and into our own heart. And it makes a huge difference. Lighting your lampada before your icons at the beginning of a day is another good example because you're calling your mind to attention of the icons on the wall, the saints that intercede for you, the icons of our Lord and his Holy Mother. And when you light that lamp, it's bringing focus to that moment, even though it's only maybe a moment. But every time you walk into that room during the rest of the day, your attention will go to your icon corner and to your inner life. There are so many things that we can do during periods of dryness. The worst thing we can do is to give in to the dryness and think, oh, well, there's nothing to this anyway. I'm gonna take a break. And then when you take a break, you find yourself never wanting to come back. But again, the Orthodox Church has all of the means by which we can keep our attention onto the spiritual and not onto the emotional. It's not about our feelings. It's about our relationship with the eternal God who created us. That's what it's about. So what do we do when we are confronted with this spiritual dryness? Well, we want to remember, first of all, that this is common for every Christian. Everybody goes through stuff like this. It's part of being human. We go through periods of time where we just feel dry and kind of dead. But it's those moments that we turn to the life of the church for the comfort that we need for the spiritual growth, for the chance to confess our sins and to receive the holy mysteries and to be with our brother Christians. And that what that means, it lifts us up. And then those periods of dryness just disappear and we're filled with hope and love and we've received the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, renewed, we should never succumb to the temptations of darkness and dryness because those are temporary. They move through our lives like droplets of water. Let's focus on Christ in the church and the glory of God in our lives at this very moment. If you have found this content to be a blessing, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.